It's psychologically abusive to push people with either spiritual gymnastics, of, you know, this effort in the mind towards a future attainment of samadhi or something, or enlightenment, or to push people gymnastically to align their bodies in some sort of ideal that a young male boy can do. And that's and selling that with a spiritual promise, you know, practice and all is coming. And it's really got, uh, it's got us into a mess in the US and all around the world because that's how people are thinking of yoga. And in the US, say, in the last two years, there's been a sincere inquiry into this, like, hang on a second, this isn't working. People are dying early, you know, people are getting sick with knee knee replacements, hip replacements, and they're not yet 60, and a nervous disorder, women's periods strangely uh, becoming painful or stopping through nervous disorders of this push, 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 like, a, you know, like male gymnasts on. And Mr. Iyengar was obsessed with straight lines, you know, and I said there are no straight lines in Mother Nature. It's a mathematical idea, useful enough. And it's a male imposition on a body, whether it's a woman's body or a man's body, to instruct them to create straight lines and angularity on the body. And that's going to do something for you that's spiritual. The whole thing is a fucking hoax. What I'm saying is this branding of yoga took off. It was invented in Europe and the US and eventually got to Perth. And you as a conscientious young person, you know, wanting to please your teachers and, you know, uh, attain in the linear progression that society offers in every walk of life, including dancing. You know, you push, push, push. And yoga is still being taught like that by men and women who buy into this uh, misogynism and innocently uh, pass it on like this, this branding. And it, attracts obsessive people, as you were, but it also puts off most people. They think it's silly. Yeah. Anyone with any spiritual inquiry going on, that ugh, this is ridiculous, it's got nothing to do with my spiritual intentions, when they see what's going on in the yoga studio. So, summary, the principles of yoga that Krishnamacharya brought forth from the great tradition must be included in every Thing that derived from him and he would take it a step further so it must be included in the Hindu life it must be included in the Buddhist life in the Christian life in the Muslim life in the Jewish life as the practical means by which the beautiful ideals of sacred text are realized and that's what we're doing in this modern world is taking what he brought forth, we captured it, <laughs> it's safe now, we're good. And you know, you've all experienced that, how it works.